although this is a full arm video from my uh, Word of Swiss right to ban minaret spids. Um, I'm going to ask whether the uh, Swiss are indicative of the entire um, European uh, perspective on religion. And of course, we must not get our minds confused with the fact that the Swiss weren't making a um, declaration of atheism uh, in that referendum. They were merely stating a cultural um, antithesis to Arabic culture. Um, they are a European culture, of course, but they are a European culture of many varieties uh, drawn together by history. Um, they have a referendum uh, based limited democracy and that allows referendums over a hundred thousand people to bring forward a, some legislation for consultation with the government and then it can become it passed into law. Now of course as that referendum took place it did pass into law and they did ban the further uh, building of mosques and um, minarets, the, the towers outside of mosques that call people to prayer. So that was very specific to a specific religion. Um, the Swiss don't have any problem with Christianity or um, Judaism as far as I know. Um, and in fact in the French speaking part of the country one woman said that because they have in their um, first line of their constitution under God by which they mean the Trinity of the of Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and God, and God by that, by the Christian um, identity of God, uh, that they they wanted to keep that, as opposed to the um, Islamic interpretation of that same God and the Jewish interpretation of that same God. So the question is, as it was put to Euro News um, viewers in France, in Germany and across Europe what would they have voted if they had been given the chance to do that referendum uh, and 65% said they would like to ban religious symbols outward religious symbols now of course the EU and then the international community which of course when you, you say that it makes it sound like the millions and millions of people who are in those countries were Whereas really it's a small select group of politicians, bankers, lawyers, uh, the elites who might be competing against one another but they have this common view point that uh, the Swiss shouldn't have done this thing. But the Lisbon Treaty opens up the possibility that such a referendum could take place um, where you will get a million votes over the entire EU um, block, right? Which might in future include England as well, and England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland as well, um, and maybe the eastern countries, even as far out as Georgia and uh, the Ukraine and the Belarus and the Baltic countries might join the EU. They're already in the European Council, um, and the question w is: Will Europe be? Um, particularly Christian uh, with obviously a, a large Jewish influence on the on the elite so to speak or will it be atheistic and postmodern well you have to look at it particularly at the the Germans because they are the largest country in Europe and the Germans have a deep spirituality I don't know if you can call it Christianity but it is sort of a deep spirituality they have a connection to their to their land which is um, quite you can't really be expressed in English there's a similar in the Celtic countries surprisingly there's a word that um, for longing for home that is quite similar to the German conception of of their a homeland their uh, heimat you know they have a longing for home and that is mixed in with a Christian religion so in Germany at least and in Italy and France the, and Spain, the um, Christian religion has been thoroughly Europeanized. Um, 
it spares very little uh, relation to Judaism. Okay, um, but there's still that sympathy for the uh, for the for Judaism more than Islam. Islam, for some reason, although it is closer to Judaism than it is to Christianity, um, in fact, it is a reaction reactionary radical um, belief system that is uh, that was Christian and then converted to Islam. Okay, so you had people convert from Judaism to Christianity to um, Islam. Now, you of course, you have people converting in Europe from Christianity to agnostic uh, to an agnostic belief system or a postmodern atheistic system of, of of viewing the world through the scientific method. Okay, are these things that I believe in? Can they be tested? Um, no, they're probably all wrong, but they're I'm decreasing the margin of error. That's the scientific method. Now, um, if they were given the chance to ban uh, religious symbols, would the EU agree with this? Of course, the Lisbon Treaty provides for the referendum, but it's only consultative. Um, unless the that referendum is for people to leave the EU, then it's binding. Okay. Uh, of course, the EU is going to, going to have in its constitution has in its constitution that all um, religious and um, political belief systems are, as long as they're not violent or infringe the rights of another um, person to have their to express their religious, cultural, political, and artistic belief systems um, are not infringed, then of course, that um, they are protected under the law. But if uh, democracy is is a pure democracy, you can, of course, take away the recognition of someone's right to believe in something such as Islam or Judaism or Christianity. Um, but you can see why the European Union will be against this idea, because, of course, from the, from the beginning of the... European Union uh, it was the the church particularly in um, Poland and uh, Germany that organised um, people to protest against the communist regime and in fact the communists re recognised that people had the right to worship because that was the one place the Stasi and the KGB didn't go into the church, so they said. You know, they respected that that's as a sanctuary. And in fact, the Poles even have Jesus Christ as their head of state. But of course, I am um, I am agnostic. But I wouldn't want somebody as a, if if um, Europe became uh, very religious. I wouldn't want them to take away my right, force me to go to church or synagogue or mosque or whatever. Um, I, I would like to have my belief system. So, do you think it's right that we should ban um, mosques, uh, synagogues, or churches from, be further, from being further built if such a referendum was taken took place? And should outward um, signs of religion be banned? Um, there are already steps towards this in um, in France. Um, and of course, their headscarves and the rest of it are being removed, and so are the wearing of um, head caps for Jews or Christian crosses, for instance. Um, the, so, but this opens up a big debate, of course. Um, is is Europe going to be a multicultural? Uh, Society with lots of different religions, all believing that they're right and um, they their right is superior over everyone else's right. Or do you have a secular, a, a to moving towards atheistic postmodern um, Europe where universal human rights are accepted and there is no specific right for um, certain groups over another.